time, but I would like to meet him for real and have a conversation with him. Um, I would die to meet Paul McCartney, die, and um, I would literally, yeah, I would, I would die to meet him. Um, who else? I would love to meet Nathan Fielder. I would love to meet Nathan Fielder. I don't know. There's a lot of people that I think are amazing. I met Kevin Parker once and I was, I couldn't be, I couldn't have been more awkward and more uncomfortable. I still, I tell the story to everybody. I was just, I, I was so weird when I met him and I still think about it. It keeps me up at night sometimes. So I would love to get some redemption with Kevin Parker because I feel like I was just strange and so awkward. And I was just like, yeah, not, not prepared for that. Okay, wait, sorry. So before, before I go in with my powder products, I'm going to set my face with this. I love this packaging. It is quite huge, but I love it because I feel like you just can find it so easily. It's the best. This is the Pro Filter. I didn't realize all of this was the Pro Filter line. That's interesting. The Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Butter. I've been using this powder long before I started working with Fenty. So that's just, I, I, I love this powder. I always have. So I don't, I don't really know. I started using a pow powder puff, like one of these. It's dirty. I'm sorry. Ew. I started using a powder puff a couple of months ago because I saw, of course, on TikTok someone say that it was better. So we're just going to go in and I'm going to just pack that on. It's a really nice powder. I've loved this powder for a very, very long time. Feels It feels like I finally have found my pop sound that still feels really organic to me. That's what my best friend said. She said that um, it feels like I've finally found like what my pop music sound is, you know, if that makes sense. So I hope you guys like it. I'm, I'm very, very excited about it. I've been working really, really hard on it. Okay, so then I'm just taking this. This is the Face 125 brush by Fenty. I'm kind of just pushing that out. And then for the rest of my face, I actually usually only really powder in there, but I kind of do a little bit like here. And other than that, I don't really like to do too much. What kind of TikToks do you like to watch? Oh my goodness, my, I don't know. Every time I open my phone, it's completely different. Um, it's only been World Cup videos the last 24 hours, and I've been sobbing at every video of people in Argentina. Um, like their reactions, like literally crying my eyes out. It's just so beautiful. I, I love just seeing people joyous and like able to be jumping around and screaming in a happy way. I think that it's awesome. Okay, also I have a... <laughs> Hey, I have a pimple right there that I popped really stupidly right before this. So I'm going to let that like sit a little, maybe not that aggressively because, because what was that? But I'm going to not wipe it off all the way. What do you use for your brows? I use soap. I use soap and I brush through them and I really like that. That's like the best. Thank you guys so much to everyone who's saying that I, that you're excited for my new music. That means a lot. Thank you so much. Okay. What was the powder? Butter in Pro Filter. Um, where's your headband from? CVS. CVS. Um, okay, okay, okay. So where was I? I'm going to spray my face now. I think like, is that, is that the next step? I don't, I don't know. Powder blush. Thank you. I love you. Um, go live more often. Okay. Maybe I will. I get nervous guys. It's intimidating. I get really scared, but, um, yeah. Um, why do you get scared? I don't know. I think that like it's obviously intimidating. I I kind of beat myself up over everything, so I feel like sometimes I sometimes I'm like, is it worth even going live if I feel like I mumble over a word or I say something wrong? But I feel like I've come to a place where um, I I I'm like I'm human and that's all that's okay and I don't need to 
it's okay. Like I don't, and I, I don't know. I'm just trying to kind of be in a state of mind where I don't care as much, I guess, what people have to say about me. Cause I think that, thank you, Genesis. That was very sweet. Um, I don't know. I think that I've learned that I'm, I know who I am and, um, I don't know. I think, I think I'm, I'm, I'm good. I think that I, I have a beautiful heart and that's, I think I'm like, okay. When, when people are mean to me, I'm like, yeah, it's okay. Whatever. Yeah, people, people in my real life know who I am. I think people who meet me know who I am. So it's all good. But yeah, it can obviously still be intim intimidating sometimes. Have you traveled this month? Yes, I was in New York for 24 hours. I'm not even kidding. I landed at 9 p.m. and flew out at 9 p.m., which is crazy. It, that's, it's a six-hour flight, so it, I, I thought it was insane. But I was literally in New York for 24 hours and got food poisoning, mind you. Literally got food poisoning. Like, I basically flew to New York to get food poisoning. Um, I performed at an event for Forbes, which was such an honor, but was vomiting moments before I went on stage. Like, projectile. So, yeah. That was so much fun. If anyone has had food poisoning, what did you get food poisoning from? Um, I was, I don't know. I have no idea. Like I, I was very confused and it was awful. It was awful. What are your plans for the holidays? I don't know. Do you like math? I, I hate math. I hate math. I saw a TikTok that made me cry and it was like me and math have parted ways like please don't bring math up to me anymore I couldn't agree more I'm horrible at math I've never excelled at it it's always been something that I've been horrible at I don't know why numbers have just never clicked for me I just don't yeah they're not not my thing me and numbers don't get along I'm awful awful at it so I'm very jealous and very envious of those of you who are good at math I am not one of them I was always good at like English or vocabulary and whatever those kinds of things but I, I was not good at anything number related I was constantly I was actually in math like a math support class my whole life every grade every year I was always like in a extra math support class so yeah I was not very good Tattoo tour. I'm not going to show my feet on here because I think that's just like a little bit wild, but I can show you the rest of them, even though most of them are on my feet. So I have this one on my ring finger. It says eventually. It's from the Team Impala song. I have 3553 three on my middle finger. Um, 35 March 5th is my birthday, and 53 May 3rd is my brother's birthday. So we are literally switched, which is super cool. So 35 is our lucky number, 53. I got this little star thing, and it just is gone so I don't really count that one my bow that I love so much my favorite this says love bug because my mom used to call me love bug and she still does every all the time that's her nickname for me um I have baby on the side of my neck here I have life support on the back of course um I have honey on my lip which don't even ask how it's still here I don't know but yeah I still have that. I got that when I was like 16. Don't know how it's still there. Um, and then I have a lot on my feet. Okay, I'll just tell you them because I'm not gonna, I'm just not gonna like lift my feet up right now. You know what I mean? Um, I have Marla Singer's phone number from Fight Club. I have wings, like little angel wings. I have an octopus. I have C3, C137, which is the dimension that Rick and Morty are from. Um, I have a puzzle piece. I have a Truman Show tattoo. I have a Giving Tree tattoo. I have a teddy bear. I have an I Heart New York. And I have a Nidosphere tattoo, which is from Adventure Time. Um, which one hurt the most? I think my fingers hurt the most, for me at least. Like, this sucked. It was awful. Um, okay, anyways, now that my setting spray has dried, we're going to go in with my favorite product. This is probably my most, my longest used Fenty Beauty product and my most like like I've gone through a hundred of these this is the ginger binge Moscow mule freestyle highlighter duo so this is actually weirdly I think weirdly considered a highlighter but it's a blush it's a blush it's I mean look at this I got this probably a month ago chewed up like I use this all the time it's such a it's my favorite color of blush it's super dark not super dark but it's warm I'll say warm 
I'm trying to see if I have like a new one to compare. But anyways, so you can actually, like I really love this product so much. Um, I'm going to go in with their Fenty. This is actually their setting brush, but I use this brush as the um, my blush. Fenty Beauty 170 setting. So I'm going to go in both shades. I don't actually know the difference between. I think that the one on the right has a bit more highlighter and like glow and the one on the left is a little less but I use both of them so I wouldn't really know the difference and then I just go in and layer that on um Madison you saved my life I love you you saved your life though don't give me all the credit favorite perfume I actually, this is like not even part of this live stream, but I just have to say it because I think it's the cutest thing and I really love it. I went to the Fenty Beauty um, event for this perfume because it was really, really like close to me. So this is the, this is their new perfume and I, I made it to say Beersy. It smells so good. It smells so good. I really love this one. I, I honestly switch perfumes a lot. I have a huge perfume tray in my room. I keep this bottle in here, though, because it says my name. Um, I think it's just called the Fenty Perfume. I don't know the actual name of it, but this one is really, really yummy. And I'm not even... That's, like, not part of this stream. I'm just saying. I use also, like... Um, I don't know how to say it. B-A-I-E-S from Le Labo I use. I use... Um, I saw a TikTok that said there was this one called, like, Juliet Has a Gun or something. I ordered that. I didn't love that one. I don't know. I use like a lot of oils too. I, I layer. I layer. Um, oh, I use Bubble Bath by Misa Margiela. That is fucking awesome. Um, okay. I'm trying to, I'm trying to answer more questions. Do you wish you went to college? Um, definitely sometimes. I think that I missed out on like a lot of important things in this life. Like, I'm sad I never went to prom. I'm sad I never had a homecoming. I'm very grateful for what I was doing instead of that, but, you know, I do think there's things that I missed out on that I can still I allow myself to mourn a bit. Go-to Starbucks drink. Okay, so I'm a, I'm a matcha person. I like matcha a lot, but for some reason in Los Angeles, there's a lot of, like, matcha shortages. A lot of places don't carry it, which is bizarre to me. Um... So, I now go to, what is it? Like an iced chai venti with like the, I like this pumpkin cold foam. That stuff is so good. Okay. I love, I love Reckless so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so honored you guys are like still listening to that song. It's mind blowing and I'm so grateful for it. Okay, what should we do next? I think next should be... Oh, again, I'm sorry. In my recent TikTok, people were asking what highlighter shade that was. In the TikTok, I used Mean Honey, Mean Money, and Hustler Baby. That's the one I used in the TikTok. It's really beautiful. The one that I used to use, and I still use this one a lot, is the Lightning Dust Fire Crystal. These are my two favorite highlighters from Fenty. Okay, so I'm going to use the Mean Honey, Mean, why do I, hello, Mean Money and Hustler Baby. Okay, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to use it with their highlighter brush, 120. Are they all shape number 120? No. Okay, I'm going to go in with this one, which is Hustler Baby. And I'm just going to go up. I love it. Look how pretty that is. It's like gold. I love it. I love this highlighter. And I'm going to put some on my nose. Um, sorry. I don't know why I keep apologizing. I just really want... I want to answer questions. I feel like I don't talk to you guys often. Uh, 
Um, I'm going to go in now with a little bit more bronzer. This is the Private Island. This is my favorite bronzer shade from Fenty Beauty. And I'm going to use the 125 face brush. And I'm just going to go in to the contour areas. What's your hair care routine? I'm pretty... I try to take care of my hair, and I was actually surprised when I got my hair colored recently. They all said that my hair was very healthy. I was quite shocked. Very good. Um, any mental health advice? Yeah, I mean, I have tons of mental health advice. I don't know specifically what you might be going through, but I think my biggest piece of advice that I, I know it's probably annoying to hear, but I've been... I've been in horrible places before where I'm like, this is never, I'm never going to feel differently than this. And I actually still feel that all the time. I, uh, a couple months ago, I was having such bad anxiety attacks every night that I literally felt so hopeless. And I was crying on the phone to my therapist, just telling her that I was, I was like, this is, this is going to be my forever, my rest of my life. I'm going to have to deal with this every single night when I get in bed, I'm going to have to deal with like an, a significant anxiety attack and um and yeah and that was a really scary thought to me because I was like I don't want to live like this this is torturous and um she would of course give me tips and tricks and things that she was like you can do this you can do that and nothing nothing helped me at all it was a lot of existential stuff a lot of just like being afraid of everything um and yeah I just felt like it was never gonna go away and not that it went away, but it got a lot better. And there's been things I've been able to implement into my life that have made me feel better and have, have helped me. And, um, yeah, if you could just try every day a little bit more and more, I know that it's hard, but like, I promise you, I know I'm not, I'm not just saying this, like I really felt helpless and I really felt like I was these, <laughs> these things really funny it's hard to not laugh have the filter I know people are doing this on purpose at, when I'm talking about this um <laughs> but yeah I don't know it I'm done I'm finished finished with the conversation I hope you took something away from that because it will get better and I you know even if it doesn't quickly I promise you one day you will feel even a little bit better I don't feel 100% but I'm definitely feeling a lot better um yeah cool what state are you from I'm from New York and I live in Los Angeles now. <laughs> These filters. Okay, sorry. I'm like, how do you feel about bagels? I, what do you, who, who are you asking how, how I feel about bagels? Of course I love bagels. I'm a Jewish girl from Long Island. Of course I love bagels. I'm a big bagel person. But in LA, it's like sacrilegious and like it's, it's very tough out here. There's actually one or two places that are amazing for bagels, but in New York, you can walk anywhere and be, yeah. My nail is falling off. Like it's, it is, I could peel it off right now and it's taking, I'm fighting my intrusive thoughts to not peel it off. You're the reason I sing. I love you. That means a lot to me. How's making music going? It's good. I just finished my album. I'm done with it. Okay, guys, I need to focus. This is supposed to be me doing my makeup. Um, okay, next step, let's do my eyelashes. Let's, let's do these bad boys. I also, I'm so upset. I can't find one of my favorite products from Fenty, and I really want to use it. Oh, wait, never mind. I found it. It only took me looking for about two seconds to find it. Um, but first, let's just do... Oh, actually, no, we do this first. Okay, so this is the Diamond Bomb How Many Carrots. This stuff... <gasps> Oh my god. <laughs> so as you can see, I use this a lot, and it's literally, it just fell out of the package. Mine is old. Mine is very old. I've had this for over three years now, which don't come at me if you're not supposed to use makeup for that long, but I do. Sorry. I use this in my inner corner, and I know that seems excessive to use, like, one thing for your inner corner only, but it's look how pretty it is. Okay, so I just take it on a brush, a little tiny brush. And I just go in the inner corner. <gasps> Look at that. So pretty. I love this stuff. I've had this for so long. I don't even know if they still sell it. Okay. So I do that. And then we're going to do my eyelashes now. 
I'm gonna curl them. Curling your eyelashes is like a very scary experience. My friend and I were in Amsterdam and she took her entire row of top eyelashes off because she didn't have like the protector thing on her eyelashes. Okay. Oh God, I hate doing this. Madison, is your hair black now? It's not quite black, but it's pretty close. I bump your discography while playing GTA. That's the coolest thing I've ever heard. I know I have some GTA cheats memorized if you want me to share them with you. <laughs> okay. I, ugh, I hate doing this. Okay. Ah! Is your tongue pierced? No, am I talking like my tongue is pierced? It is not. Share the cheats. Okay. If I remember correctly, to fly, it's L B L T left right left right. No. It's L B L T R B R T left right left right. And then same, same, left right, left right. And then I think you fly. That might be wrong, but I think it's something like that. And I used to do that all the time, and that was my like big flex. And that's only I think that's only on an Xbox. I used to really enjoy doing that. Um, okay. So I curl my lashes. Do you ever think of getting into acting? I would love to act. Acting seems so fun. Your headband, it's literally from CBS. I'm not even joking. Um, favorite book you've read recently? I just recently finished um, The Hidden Life of Trees, or The Hidden Life of Trees, I think it's called, or The Secret Life of Trees, either one. And it's amazing. What was the highlighter called? I'm really into, like, the earth and things to do with that like fantastic fun guys an amazing documentary about mushrooms okay this this these were the two if you want to screenshot okay i'm just gonna i'm gonna here how about this i'm gonna hold up every product i've used thus far so you can screenshot if i miss something highlighters were these two okay cream blush was this one sorry wait you can't see that oh my god not this Summertime wine. Okay. Foundation. Wait, you can't see that. Okay, I'm just gonna hold this up. It's shade 235. <laughs> like two, three, five. Okay. And then um this was what I put on my inner corner. This was the powder I used. Okay, um, um, this is the concealer, this is, this is the liquid, stop it, this is the liquid highlighter, okay, I think that's all I used so far, oh, and then this is the bronzer, oh, wait, and the blush, and the blush, me, I'm in love, not with anybody else. I just wanna get to know myself. Okay, wait. This is this the mascara? This is the mascara. Okay, so this is the full frontal mascara. So let's use that now. And I'm gonna just get like close so I don't make a crazy face. What are these filters? Okay, actually, I'm just going to pick up my phone and just hold it, because... Ew, <laughs> this is, like, scary. Not the crease in my... Not my crease. That's gross. Okay, that's good. Let's do too much. That's good. I know I'm lonely now. No one's supposed to be happy without someone. I know it than to drive you home. Cause you'd invite me in. Guys, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm literally searching on my table for what's next. What's next? What do I do next? And I'd be yours again, cause I, I'm in love. 
loved you on Drag Drag Race. Thank you so much. That was such a fun experience. I am so excited for the new season. Did it come out? I feel like this is everyone's favorite part. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Oh my god. I'm scared. I don't want to like look like that. Okay. I'm going to conceal them a little because that looks really wild. Guys, oof. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I conceal them a little bit. I see you in a couple of years. Cause I know better than to drive you home. What, what should I conceal with? Okay, I'll just conceal with the same thing that I did my contour with. Ah! Ooh, I like those. Those are like a little scientist. Sing Reckless. Oh, should I? Okay, so we're just going to go in. I have, okay, I have a tiny freckle right there that always bothers me so I always conceal that I like to conceal the sides and under and then like the sides around okay and then this is another one of my favorite products by Fenty this is the glass slipper gloss bomb it is the best lip gloss on the market that's not even a joke and it smells good. Mm. For those of you asking what the one that I used in my live stream was, or not my live stream, my TikTok. So that was their new thing, which is Gloss Bomb Ice. This stuff, me and my mom used to always say there was, um, I forget what the brand was, but there was this, there was this, um, minty lip balm she would use and it was this kind of like ongoing joke that she was like I never have to carry gum because I have this minty lip balm that makes my breath smell good and I was like oh that's so smart and so when Fenty came out with this we were like that's so crazy because we always just talk about like minty lip balms this stuff I would suggest everyone this is a good product because it's minty and it's cooling and it tastes good it's awesome okay guys I'm gonna get off in 10 minutes I think that's like my entire Tire face. I don't know what else for another 10 minutes. I can't believe it's been an hour. That's crazy. But here we are. Oh, you swore on every star. How could you be so reckless with my heart? Guys, what? Okay, whatever. <laughs> um. I don't want to sing. <laughs> I do. I do. I like singing for you guys, but I feel like not everyone in here wants to hear wants to hear it. Cause I am in love. I've had that song stuck in my head since I went to the concert. But not with anybody else. Just want to get to know myself. Sing something off the old, the new album. Hmm, should I? No, I can't. I can't. I'm going to be disciplined this album and not leak the whole thing before it comes out. Maybe a little bit of it, but not this, not this far in advance. Your favorite meal. I love Thanksgiving food. Um, and it's really funny. I, I know a lot of people who don't love Thanksgiving food. I love thanksgiving thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays it's so good the food is like i look forward to eating that food um but i love sushi i'm a big sushi person i don't know i like honestly i like everything i'm not picky at all i'm not picky at all there's nothing i like won't try there's nothing i probably won't eat i'm i like food a lot mm. 
Um, what's your favorite TV show? I don't know. I'm going to get off in five minutes. Five minutes, five minutes. Mm -hmm. Not with anybody here. I see you in a couple years. Sing a Christmas song? Which one? Mm -hmm. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Mm. Sorry, I'm so boring. Sorry, I'm like literally, I don't know what to say. Santa baby, just slip a sable under the tree for me. Um. What nail should I get next? Be matching with me. I'm going to get, I think, the same thing, just darker brown. I'm going to go, like, pretty dark. So be, be matching. Let's be matching. Um, okay. I'm, I don't know what else to answer. Tattoo tour. I'm sorry. You missed it. I already did one. I did, like, a mini one. I'll show you a few fast. Sorry, though. I, I already did one. And I, I, how's Bowie and how's Presley? Bowie's amazing, and him and Presley are best friends. It's amazing. It's amazing. I got so lucky. Thoughts on the rehearsal? Thank you so much. I thought you would never ask. It's genius and unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I can't fathom what took, like, just all of it. How they made those sets. How much that cost. All of it, I'm just, it's its insane. And I love Nathan so very much. And I think that his brain is a special one, to say the least. Where's your headband from? It's from CVS. Why are you ignoring? I'm not ignoring anything. I'm, I'm, there's so many things. I can't read it. I'm sorry. And also, these things are covering the questions. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to ignore anybody. What was the lip gloss? The lip gloss was this. Sorry, it's dirty. I use it all the time. In glass bomb. In, yeah, glass slipper. Do you celebrate Hanukkah? Usually I do um, when I'm with my family, but I'm probably not going to, like, go do anything with them this year, sadly. But, of course, I still celebrate, but, no, I'm not going to be with them in person. But happy Hanukkah to everyone, and thanks for saying happy Hanukkah to me. But usually, yeah, me and my family do celebrate, but everyone's kind of all over the place this year, so we're probably not going to have anything too serious. But maybe I'll do, like, a friend Hanukkah. Um, okay. What gloss? The Fenty Beauty lip gloss. Glass slipper. It's really good. Um, would you ever do a Christmas song? I would love to do a Christmas song. Um, I've always wanted to. I just don't know what, I, I don't know how to approach it. Also, it feels every year, like, when Christmas approaches, I, I don't have, I don't have time. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, how did you do your eyebrows? I do them with soap. Outfit of the day. Just some sweats and a sweatshirt. I'm like, I'm not leaving my house today, I don't think. Mm, I'm so hungry. What should I eat? Someone help me. Help me. When the album drops, will you go on tour again? Yes, of course I'll go on tour again. I'm very excited for that, too. I like... Difficult last time. I mean, I, I did, like, over 55 shows, I want to say, and it was definitely exhausting, but it was... It's the best thing ever. It's the best thing ever. I can't even tell you. Um, oh, what shade blush and highlighter on your new TikTok? It is Summertime Wine Cream, and the highlighter was mean money and hustler baby yeah do you use self tan can i be totally honest with you guys i didn't use self tanner because i am so lazy to sit with self tanner on and like wait for it to like absorb i just can't do it i i 
it feels too gross on my skin. I feel like I just have like too many sensory things where I'm like, I can't get it off me. So I just, I've outgrown it. So I use like a bit of a darker foundation and then I just blend it down my neck. And like, you could probably see my hands are a different color, but I just want it to look tan, at least for this live stream. But yeah, no, I definitely need to sit in a tanning something. I don't know. What shade was your foundation? 235. Um, I have so many like things everywhere. These clips are my favorite clips in the world. These are the best. They're huge and they're so good. Um, okay guys, I'm gonna go in one second. In literally one second, I'm gonna go. Show your tattoos. I showed them, I'm sorry. I showed them. What's your favorite Lana song? That's very hard for me to say. I don't know. I can give you like what first comes to mind. Um, happiness is a butterfly, gods and monsters. Um, don't do this to me. I can't do this right now. I can't do this right now. Um, what's the mascara? The Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara. Favorite food. I love sushi. I like everything. I like everything. Anything under the gloss? What? What does that mean? Under. Eyebrow product. A bar of soap. Rick and Morty season six thoughts. So can I be super honest as someone who is a diehard Rick and Morty fan? I haven't watched the new season, which is insane. But I wanted it to be finished before I could watch it. Just because I like to binge things. I have a really bad problem with patience. Um, so yeah, I like to binge things. So I'll let you know. I will be back with my thoughts. Definitely, if I can say, I was a little bit turned off by some things. I think I watched the first episode. I think that it was really cool when Rick used to acknowledge, you know, that he was in a TV show once in a while. And it was like, oh, you know, I, whether it was, I think it was the end of season three when he was like, see you next season, something like that. I think is so cool because it's that moment where you're just like, this is so funny that you just acknowledge and like broke that wall. But it was so, it, it happened so many times. Like, I feel like in the first episode I watched, he said it 20 times. He was like, oh yeah, you know, that one episode, this and that. I was like, why are we, this is, it's, it's like, it's like making the, joke that should be niche and funny not funny anymore because it's just overdoing it so I don't know but I also didn't love like I, I don't know I don't know like I didn't love that dragon episode in in the last season I loved the vat of acid episode but I didn't love the dragon one I completely agree thank you so much I'm glad that someone agrees how tall are you how tall do you guys think I am people every single time someone meets me they are like, wow, you're really tall. And I'm like, am I tall? I don't think I'm tall. Questions for me for the rest of the year, I'm probably not gonna like go live again till next year. And when I do, it's hopefully gonna be with music announcing. And yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for the new year, you guys. I feel really, really proud and confident in this music and I hope you guys love it so much. Um, do you guys want me to go live? and show you how I make my cinnamon rolls one time. I feel like that'd be fun. I really like to make my cinnamon, I really like to make cinnamon rolls. So if you guys want to see that, maybe I'll go live and um, do that sometime, because that'd be fun. Even though it takes hours for like the dough to rise, maybe I'll do it after all the long things have done and I'll just show you. Um, but yeah, I love you and I hope you have a beautiful holiday with your family, your friends, or as I said earlier, even if you're spending it alone, I hope you have a really lovely holiday. Be kind to one another. It's the holiday season. I've seen some mean comments in these comments, and I wish all of you um, kindness in the new year. Um, it takes, it costs nothing to be nice to one another. So, yeah. Um, yeah, do something sweet for someone today, tomorrow. Just, yeah, be, uh, be a good person and have a good holiday. And I'm sending love to all of you. And your families, blessing your families with health and happiness. And I hope you get everything you want. And um, yeah, I love you so much. I'll see you in the new year with a lot of new music.
Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, any other holidays you might celebrate. I hope you have a really, really beautiful one, and I love you, and thanks for watching. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon in the new year with a lot of music, a lot of tour, and uh, a lot of love. Okay.